Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We are back at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Tampa, Florida. I am totally addicted to this store. Going in here looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell, click all, so you don't miss out on my live buy nows and sales. Thumbs up for the video and subscribe to the channel. This is my favorite store, but y'all know that. We always have such great luck in here. If any of y'all have been here after seeing my videos, let me know in the comments below. I'm hoping that they have tons of purses. And don't forget to bring cash because they don't accept credit. This is the store located on Hillsboro Avenue and it is huge. This is where I found that cross that's worth a thousand dollars. So we're gonna look at the purses first, y'all. Y'all know that, you know the routine. Pretty duffel bag. Hoping they've got lots of purses today. What is this one here? Versace perfumes. Big gold duffel bag. I'm telling you, if you are looking for clothes, they organize everything so well. It's so beautifully color coded. The store is humongous. Look at that. Humongous name brand purses behind the checkout counter over there La Sport Sack L E S P O R T S A C pretty bag Kate Spade but the handles are a little bit rough pass on it what is this one that's Victoria's Secret no filter this feels like an insulated bag it's called stones beautiful beautiful dooney pebbled leather this is gorgeous I'm loving this one right here. I love this one right here. Looks to be really good condition. Beautiful blue color. Good for summer. And the inside is perfect. I don't even see dust. No ink stains. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna show you this purse up close so you can see the true condition beauty of it stitching is great if you see any purses in here in this video and you're interested in them shoot me an email I'll give you a quote if I did get it if I apps if I ended up not getting it I'll let you know in that email here's the back of it You just have that little spot right there, which I think just needs to be cleaned. Again, the inside is great condition, no staining. And don't we wish that this was real? I know I do. This right here just seems not right. Don't we wish we will come back to the whatnots, maybe. Or you know what, since we're here, we might as well look. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something. I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something, so I can't I can't come back to the whatnots. I just can't do it. We gotta do it now. Now y'all know this is happening, right? Look at this. So this is something I'll keep. This is something I'm gonna keep. I love this. So look at that scorpion. This is huge. Y'all know I love my Egyptian Revival jewelry, but I also love the Egyptian Revival pieces, Egyptian pieces, things like that. I call it Egyptian Revival, but I love these. So this is made in Egypt. 
and it's made it seems like it's made of stone we're gonna take that home too what do y'all think about that red white and blue ladies red white and blue and this is a really cute piece this is left in China and she rocks isn't that cute let me show you the detail of that I don't see any chips on it no chips perfect condition not sure of the age left in China so collectible still usable and your slots at the back of the chair These pictures caught my eye. Definitely no room for anything like this, but I love that. $14.99 for three, so if y'all come out here, these are hidden behind these big pictures. Great buy. So I'm not sure about these right here. I like them, but I'm not sure if they're, you know, something that's easily resellable. They are made out of wood. I'm going to show you a piece that was here the last time I was in here and I did look it up online and it runs about $100 so this is a lamp I'm not sure what's half off today this lamp right here runs $100 online and I only found a couple it does need to be rewired but probably a really great deal for somebody if y'all are wanting to buy that I would come down here and get it Crackled beauty there. Look at that. Just put a succulent in it. We all know what to do with those pieces there. All you do is buy it, put a little dirt, and a succulent. And that solves all of life's worries. This is called Triple Trouble. Triple Trouble. blue-eyed triple trouble I think I've seen more cats this past week than I've ever seen in a thrift store this cat is so cute also look at him He even has a little tail in the back. Look at that. 1977 82 Annie. The writing is gone. A little bit of the paint. This beautiful piece made in England, 1999. Look at this. England, 1999. And what do y'all know about this piece? This is, ooh, Limoges, 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 France. Look at this. There's the title of this piece. I'll show it to you. So Limoges, Limoges, Limoges. 
Look at that beautiful artwork. And what is this? Is this just a... I mean, I don't want to say just a cup, but what is it? What is that? Is it a cup? I think we're going to check on that. I might get that. We'll have to comp it at the end. Nineteen seventy four. What twenty nine dollars? Is that worth money? Is it worth twenty nine dollars? are here's all the purses all of them look at this please be real snake skin please be real snake skin oh it is it is ladies it's real it's real look at this oh my gosh I think I just scored this is a real snake skin You will not believe it. It is real. And look at the chains. A little bit of fading on one. Or no, you know what? One's silver tone, one's gold tone. Let's see what brand this is. What designer brand? Ann Klein, maybe. I'll tell you what. I'll pick up an Ann Klein when it's real snake skin. It is Ann Klein. Look up close. Here's the side of it. Real snake skin. It says genuine leather, but it feels like snake skin because when you rub across the grain of it, that's what it feels like. And if it's not real snake skin, it is real leather. Maybe they can't put the word snake skin. I don't know. The inside's great condition. We're going to get this one. So that was the first. What is this one here? Plum. I don't know anything about plum. Fashion bag. Let's see, fashion bag. Oh. Mm -mm. Really? Really, really, really. Are we for real or not? Let's look at this closely. I am, I am seriously hoping this is real. Oh my gosh. It needs to be cleaned. Is this Versace? It's not Versace, but I'm telling you, this right here is what made me wonder what it is. But I'm going to show you the inside of this. So it's still an interesting purse, and I think we're going to go ahead and pack it up. It's got a different color to it. But this right here is tricky to me. Because that's what it kind of would remind you of. But I'm going to show you the tag on the inside, and y'all tell me if y'all have ever heard of this brand before. But we are going to pack this one up. I'm going to try to clean it. Try to clean it. So the inside of this is great condition, but look at the tag. I'm going to try to show you. So here's the inside. So this is called Leather Home Cairo, made in Egypt. 
I don't know anything about this brand, but we're going to go ahead and buy it. So if you're interested in getting a quote on this, let me know. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit, but it does look to be vintage. It's an off-white color. Great condition on the inside. Just a few things on the outside. Again, slight cleaning. Maybe is all that's needed. Let's look through some more of these. Did we see this one last week? I don't know if we saw this last week or not. I think we did see that one last week. I don't think I did any research on it. This is definitely designer purse heaven. If you've not been in here yet, I'd encourage you to go. I think any day of the week you'll find lots of great items. Look at this Kate Spade here. Glittery blue, inside's black, great condition. Here's the back of it, crossbody. Strap is in good condition also, love it. Is this one? Oh, I thought it was suede. It is kind of suede on the front. Nice to meet you. Never heard of you before. I love that incline snake purse. Look at this vintage Dooney. Hunter green. Some beautiful brown. Is it real though? And I'm going to call it fake based on this stitching. So this is not a real bag at all. Not a real Dooney. Spartina crossbody bag. That's pretty. Look at this. Pretty, pretty, pretty bag. Spartina. Great brand, too. We're not going to get it, but it's a great brand. Relic. What is this tool, little baby? What is this tool bag here? Oh, what is that little western going on? Little western, is this vintage? It is America West, and America West is a great brand too, I think, in my opinion, IMO, but we're gonna pass on it. It's not the brand of purse I carry, but American West is pretty good. Oh, look at this coach. Cool. This one right here is great, but look what happened. This part is missing here. So we're gonna pass on this one. I love it so much, but this strap is broken. This part's missing. It's not anywhere in the bag either where you could sew it back on. Wilson's leather. She showed up again. I just wish that coach was not messed up. I wonder if you couldn't just sew that back together and it'd be okay, even though it doesn't have the piece like that. It is just gorgeous though. I hate to leave it. Hate to leave this, y'all. I really do, but I guess we got to go. <laughs> You saw that Rosetti. She gonna pop out the corner over there. She gonna pop out from around the corner. She said, you cannot go shopping without me. At least without seeing me. I'm like, girl, please. Capizio. I 
Is it bad when you don't buy a purse because of the name? What's this big old fancy bag? That one just says, my best friend is a bag on the inside. Is this a Brighton here? Maybe so. Is this a Brighton? It is with beautiful floral colors on the inside. I wonder if the Brighton purses hold their retail or their value as much as the jewelry does. What do y'all think? This is a beautiful bag. Very pretty bag right there. Show you up close. This one here, this is really messed up though. So this is coach, it says coach on it, but it's the handles are really bad. Really bad. It's a puffy coach too. Those handles, man, they got some fraying on them. Just makes you wonder. Nine West. It's this little crossbody here. It's a little bit different. Hmm. And here we go again. Look at this little Rosetti. She comes in all kinds of shapes, sizes, colors, designs, hardware. Fool me. Kind of disturbed my shopping experience. What's this right here? Feels like leather. Looks like it may be vintage. A vintage. These zippers also look vintage. Don't they look vintage to you? Look at those zippers. Maybe a 1980s vintage. Vintage, let's take a closer look at these. Vintage. This is a crossbody when crossbodies weren't cool. Or were they cool back then? I don't know. Don't know about this emblem, but I want to see what the inside says. This does look leather. I want to see what it says. Do we have a brand on it? We don't have, well, look at the first pocket here. Look at that fabric. So you got a leather bottom. And then this fabric, look at this. That is pretty. And y'all know I love my vintage purses and just because I'm gonna get it look at this. DH Genuine Leather Made in USA. So we're gonna get this one. It's expandable, so kind of a semi-accordion, but not really. But it's leather, this is old. And I'm just gonna get it. We're just gonna do it to it. Hopefully somebody will want to take it home with them. Hopefully you will want to take that beautiful bag home with you. We're gonna save that one. He's cute. He's cute. Oh, is this another kind of leather bucket bag is this? Pebbled. See the hardware, and it's called Sea Dream Leather. So Kate Spade, look at this one. Here's the back of it. Flap. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty one, isn't it? That is a pretty one, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Easy Spirit. This one is looking like I don't know what that's looking like. 
this one looks like. It doesn't look like it is, Coach. So here is the inside of it. Good condition, big tote bag, no staining, two compartments, two slips. Love the handles. Stitching looks good. And look at this, black pebbled leather. This is a huge tote. And the condition of the leather, of the leather as I get tongue tied looks really good. Little pebbled thing. Here's the bottom of it. It's huge though. So look at this from afar. It's a huge tote and it does zip up. So huge tote, great condition. Does zip. We'll comp it. I'm not sure if it's worth getting or not, but we'll comp it and see. What brand is this? Tinianello. A Tinianello backpack. Another coach, but the handles on this one are looking bad. Looking bad. So we're going to leave it alone. Want to leave it alone. So we've looked through all of those. How many purses do you think are there on that wall? 300? We looked through them. Now they've got bags, different kinds of bags. Over here, there could be some purses hanging in here, possibly. So you just kind of go through and look. They're mainly like lunch bags, it seems like, and backpacks. But, there could be other things hidden in here, so you do want to look. Might as well while you're here. I can't wait to see what they've got up behind the jewelry counter. Antonio Milani. Okay, so that's the purses on the wall. There's lots of them. Now we're gonna look down at all these things that I do not need and do not have room for, but I continue to purchase. And that's what nots, doodads, trinkets, knickknacks. And of course they would have some old glassware in here. Every time I come in, they seem like they've got some beautiful old glassware. These are how much? There's six of these. You got the Fleur de Lee. Maybe these are 1950s. $5.99, y'all, for six. Five dollars and ninety-nine cents for six of these. I would soon have my house and kitchen decorated with old glassware than I would new glassware unless the new glassware actually looks vintage and old so these are beautiful they would shine but again a dollar a piece one dollar a piece and there's six these are cute too. There's only four. What I do is kind of mix and match. So I would take this one, this one, put it in my cabinet and be okay with that. But since there's a set of six, I would take the whole six if I were y'all. I 
Eiffel Tower wine glass. Very tempted to get those because they're just something different. And these bottoms are glass also, but they're so different. Look at how pretty these are. Five ninety nine for the four. What do y'all think about those wine glasses? Aren't they beautiful? Bright red, and look at the stem on those. If I only had room for them. What is this? A coffee mug, cat coffee mug. Look how cute that is. Don't y'all just love this piece right here? Find joy in the ordinary. I'm telling you, I told y'all. <laughs> I've just said it. There's some cats everywhere. Cats everywhere. Fonts growl. That's me and Bob right there. Except that cat has his tail. Isn't that adorable? What is this mug here? Dollar ninety-nine. Have your cute little owl mug. Ah, oh, and your little pumpkins for Halloween. We're only six months away from me decorating my yard, so I'm super excited about that. I actually said that to a friend yesterday. About six months. Nearly at the end of March should be six months before I decorate my yard, so that's awesome. They do have lots of coffee mugs. So I think this might be Carnival Glass. Carnival Glass Bell. And then you're going to have all of your plates. If you're looking to furnish your house or your apartment. Tons of choices. And there's an extraordinary beer stein. Look at that. Now that is funny. I wonder if this is old. So that is super extraordinary. Look at this. I wonder if that's crazy enough to sell. You got your nipple right there. I might get that and sell it on eBay. I think I will. I think I will. <laughs> How wonderful life is with friends. Oh my gosh, you would do it. Look at this. A honeybee is on this, y'all, and a butterfly. Look how pretty this is. Lennox, butterfly meadow. Gorgeous. What about this one here? Nineteen seventy six Songbird Gresco, nineteen seventy six. Definitely vintage. If you do come in this store, be prepared to spend a lot of time in here because there's a lot to look at. Like this old Pyrex Fire King. Love the kitchenware. What do they have here? Q 
cute little spoon rest. Honey jar and dipper. What is this? Like, what is that? Uh, oh my gosh. Y'all, that is like a set of knives that's set up like this. Never seen, never seen anything like that before. I used to collect a lot of silver, old silver plate, and I love it. Just put a succulent in it. Don't y'all get tired of hearing that? <laughs> this one's pretty too. I don't get tired of saying it. I think it's awesome. Very cute rolling pin. Only $2.99. Look how large this store is. I still haven't checked to see what's all 50% off. And the other th great thing about this store is you will find a true antique for $10 occasionally. So this opens up. What would you put in this crazy outfit? Look at the woodwork on this. So this is $10. I don't need it, but I could hang it up on the wall and put lots of crazy stuff in it. I think what I would do with it is put a candle in it, hang it in the hallway, but get a battery-operated candle. Because look how pretty this is. dollars y'all for a true antique and it opens up on the side so it opens up at the front is this fancy cigar box worth money it's only $9.99 look at the inside of it is that worth money I don't know I've seen the other cigar boxes the smaller ones before but never one like that a beautiful shelf you know, I love my home decor, ladies and gentlemen. I do, I do, I do. This is only $5. I already have enough shelves, but this is a great looking shelf. And it is made of metal. It's worth picking up if you're in here. He's awful cute folk art, probably about 15 inches tall. I just don't play golf though. Otherwise, I, mean, I could get it for resale, but look at the detail of this. It is real wood. I just love the detail, but I, I'm not a golf player. Take a look at the jewelry now, see what we can find. Look how unique this is. And I'm gonna show you up close. There is a mark on the back of it. I'm not sure what it says, but I'm hoping that I can see it with this camera. So let me show you that mark. So JH, I'm gonna pack this one up and do some research on it because I'm afraid if I don't, I'm gonna wish I had. But if y'all know what JH means, let me know in the comments. This is what the bracelet looks like. It looks like great quality. So hoping 
Here's hoping. Here's hoping we found a treasure. We're always trying to find treasures. We try. We try. My friend Hippie Holler's texting me right now about a great find of hers. I'm gonna have to check that after I'm finished shopping so I can see what she found. See if she found a treasure. Oh, dolphins. Betsy Johnson. Looks like Brighton. At least I'm hoping it is. Looks like Brighton, but it's not Brighton, and it's bad condition on the inside. Another coach, coach wallet right there. Beautiful express earrings. And then you have all this goodness right here. Looking to see if there's any bags that we want. May want. I wonder what this green one is right here. Look at this. Oh, that's a coach. That's unusual. Let's look at this up close. I like that coach. That's pretty. So this bridling watch right here is in the store. Y'all saw that once before. They haven't sold it yet. 14 karat gold. So this is all their gold jewelry. I don't know if that might be a diamond also. show you a few of these well you'll know what kind of variety they have oh look at these right here aren't those gorgeous those are two these are I'm just going through trying to show you some of them that I think are interesting Tons of sterling necklaces to choose from. That one right there I like in the center. And then look at these. Oh, that beautiful crystal. And then you got these big blingy rings. Mystic Topaz is some of my favorite. It's not in here, but I'm thinking about the Mystic Topaz. Oh, look at this one. Turquoise Owl. So lots of sterling bracelets. Look at this one right here. Oh, look at this. Now that right there is super unusual. Mm 
And there's that one again. I like this one. I don't know, I really love this one. This is pretty. I wonder if this is sterling. Oh my gosh, did I see this before? I don't remember seeing this before, but look at this right here. With all those pearls. I like that one. I like this one. Another Aztec calendar. I put that big wood shelf back. I just don't have any room for it. Y'all know the routine with the wall. We just try to look through here best we can without seeing each and every piece. So y'all, thanks again for watching this video. We're gonna get out of here move on to the next store so don't forget to like share subscribe comment look forward to y'all helping me identify some of these pieces of jewelry that i don't know what they are so we will see y'all next video take care bye